down here I have all this um, empty space I found these little transfer letters so I don't know maybe you guys used these back in the day and I want to do the word spooky and I want it to be real um, irregular I'm not caring about spacing because I want it to go with this you know creepy theme and I'm just gonna take hard plastic you could use your fingernail and then you know it's good when it doesn't look dark anymore and then I might even choose to like not do the whole thing yeah that looks perfect probably just because they're old Ta-da! Now, these are so old, I don't know if all that will stay. I've picked a carmine red color, and I'm just going to drip this on the picture. Wherever it goes, it goes. Ooh, <laughs> look at that. Okay, so that's going to need to just settle and dry, and then I'll be able to work on the rest. And as it dries, the color should get more red, so you'll still be able to read spooky, but I don't mind that it goes over top. To help speed up the drying, I am going to soak some of this up with um, paper towels. And then who knows, maybe you could use the paper towels and glue that down in another page in your sketchbook and use it as um, more altered pieces. Those are pretty cool. Now that I have soaked up some of that ink, you can see the red color um, comes out more. And it kind of annoyed me that Spooky, even though I was trying to make it a little sloppy, was more over to this side than that side. Um, so when this ink came on, it balanced it out over here. And I love the overlapping. So now, time to think about what I'm going to do to her up top. And these are the hands of an artist. So I didn't think that she was quite a witch. I was thinking more voodoo or um, a skull. So I'm just kind of filling in her nose and her eyes. And I think like from a distance, hopefully you'll be able to see like her face and then a skull because I'm not able to make a hologram. I decided that I wanted to sew on this paper because that's something that I do in a lot of my artwork. So I'm gonna add a spider web. What I did is I took some transparent paper or some tracing paper and I sketched a spider web and I wanted to use this paper so I could see how it would interact with her head and her face. And then also I could use a needle and just uh, kind of, I don't know, pre-poke the paper. It's not going all the way through because this is a thicker card stock. So you can see the back, it hasn't come through, but that will be nice. And this is something you have to do when you sew on paper is pre-poke the holes. Because if you don't, when you try and come up through the bottom side, you'll poke in the wrong spot and you'll wind up with a ton of um, holes that you don't want if you're not going for that look. So I have this tapestry needle. It's pretty blunt and I'm gonna tape this down on the side so it doesn't shift at all and you can see that I've done a couple holes so I'm going to do that for everything and then I'm going to use a needle that actually has a point when I'm sewing and that will break through but this will really be helpful so that'll take a couple minutes it'll be time consuming but it'll be worth it I'm not done punching my holes but I wanted to sew a little bit to make sure that this was going to work so um, I got a needle that has a point and Put that through and taped the back because the hole is going to get larger as you put the needle through and uh, the knot wasn't too big so that'll hold it and I'm going to see how this looks. The sewing is going really well. I have this little set of needles and at first I grabbed this one because it was long but it's actually like the diameter of it is thicker and the needle that I switched to which was a smart move is a lot thinner and then that way it is not making these holes uh, wider as I go through it. You can also see here I have like a little I don't want to call it a knot but it was like where I didn't pull the one side of the thread all the way and I want that to happen. I want it to look messy and not perfect. So this is working out pretty easy and since it's a small area it probably shouldn't take me more than an hour to punch the holes and so I have this bit of fabric I picked this up for three dollars at an antique store not really knowing what it was but just looking at the way that it's constructed I would bet that this is very old like from the 1800s Victorian times but it is falling apart thread doesn't last forever so there's big black beads and smaller ones so I popped two off and I'm going to create a little spider on that web. Before I attach that little spider, um, this is pretty bold looking, so I think I'm going to take a little bit of white paint on my finger, maybe even gray paint, and then just kind of go like this over top of the thread to tone it down a hair. 
I don't know if you can notice it, but I think it makes a difference. It also picks up some of the high spots, so it might look like it's glistening a little. Metallic thread would have been good for this as well.